surprise, surprise, everybody. Here I am. I know I look somewhat crazy. It's fine, it's totally fine. Um, I've had my hair straightened for a while. I know I didn't show you guys me straightening it. That's because I still plan on doing that video soon. I just, I just didn't do it this time. So I am at home, it's a Saturday. The ceiling, we're partially patched people. It's still, need some adjustments because it's not right so me and daniel have to go back and like undo a couple things and like redo a couple things but i'm just getting ready to have some lunch um i'm gonna have some tostados with some avocado um my husband has put it been putting like salt and pepper and like red chili pepper flakes so i'm gonna try that and then i'm gonna make this shashuka shashuka i think that's how you say it the tenille life on instagram had made this from scratch and I thought that it looked pretty good. I never thought of, I've never heard of this shashuka, but when I was at Trader Joe's, I found this shashuka starter. It's like a, like a tomato and pepper stew. And then it has like eggs, eggs with it um, that you put in there. And I'm gonna let mine cook more than that. Cause I don't like mine like over easy, over easy, but I like them a little soft. so. I'm gonna try that and see how it is because I have the ingredients to actually make the actual stew that Tanil made, but um, I figured let's just get our feet wet and see if this is even something that we even wanna attempt to make from scratch. So I'm gonna make that for lunch and have it with like little avocado tostados, um, maybe like scoop some of it with the chips or whatever, I don't know, whatever. But it's a Saturday, you guys. I just want y'all to know that I know I dropped off the face of the earth again, yet again, yet again, but I just want y'all to know I am in a YouTube growth masterclass. I am, I am taking it seriously. I'm trying to take it seriously. So I am buckling down, like I'm paying for this course. I'm paying my good money for this course so that I can learn more about how to just create good content for you guys and to stay consistent and things like that. So. I'm gonna get it together. I feel like I keep feeling like, oh, I'm in a very busy pocket of 2021, I'm in a busy pocket. And then as soon as I get out that pocket, I'm like, again, thrown into another busy pocket. And I'm starting to feel like this is just my life. Um, Cause as most of you guys, well, some of you guys may know, like me and my husband are youth pastors. So our youth are just getting ready to come back. So as busy as it's been without them there, with them coming back and things starting to pick up again, I, I don't foresee the busyness going away at all. And so my goal is to just kind of bring you guys along the journey. I'll show you guys how I fix my hair from looking like this because I do want to take some pictures before I go back um, curly. I do have like a couple of um, clip-ins in here. I have a couple clip-ins in my hair. Part of it is just to help protect my the ends of my hair. Like it's just barely, like this is my hair. This is, so like, I don't know. You can kind of tell it's slightly longer than my hair and gives me more volume, which I think is cute, it's a little cute when I actually do it. So I'm going to show you guys what I do with my hair a little bit later in this vlog. I plan on vlogging tomorrow is Resurrection Sunday, Easter Sunday, um, Resurrection Sunday representing and celebrating our king. And so the kids, that's going to be at their first Sunday back to church in like a year. So they're not even gonna be looking that cute because I don't have any Easter or Sunday clothes. Like I don't, I didn't shop for this. So they're gonna look cute, of course, because they're my kids, but they're just not gonna be looking anything special. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna make this. Um, I'll let you guys see how it turns out. And then um, we'll just keep it moving with the rest of the day. We gotta go up to the church later to get the classroom set up for the kids. So we're gonna do that. And then um, we'll just see where the rest of this night and tomorrow takes us. So this did not come out looking as appetizing. It definitely was just a frozen block of like tomato sauce and vegetables. So yeah, it doesn't look the most appealing, kind of ratchet. But for the tostados, I just did two. And then I took my avocado. I got this tool from my local grocery store, but I know they have them on Amazon too. So I will link it down below for you guys. It's really awesome. It's like kind of mashed the avocado onto the tostados. And then I topped it with salt, pepper, and red pepper chili flakes, red 
pepper chili flakes, red pepper flakes. <laughs> this was actually really, really good and I've been eating this snack a lot ever since. So for the shishuka, my pan was way too big for this. And it is a small cast iron. So it just, it, it was ratchet and it turned out ratchet. Okay, so I just wanna say, I already ate my avocado tostado, so I just put it on the same plate. This, um, the eggs are still soft, a little soft. But guys, this does not look anything like what Tanil's look like. So uh, my pan was, was too was too big for the amount that came with it. But I'm just gonna try it and see if it's good. Just, just give it a shot. Doesn't look great, but we'll see. I honestly feel like I've been cleaning in this kitchen all day. It looks the same. It doesn't look the same, but it looks the same. Do you know what I mean? So it's just, am I the only one who feels this way? I'm like, the kids are down for a nap, so this would be the prime time. Daniel's down for a nap, too. Everyone's taking a nap, and here I am. I'm gonna enjoy this, though. Let's see what it tastes like. Am I supposed to season it? Was I supposed to season it? I should've tasted it while I was in there. It's not bad. It didn't taste bad at all. I feel like if this was actually like legitly authentic and not out of fro out of you know a box of frozen goods, this would be good. I think I'm gonna make this next week with like real peppers, real tomatoes. Like actually make it like a pot of it because I could see the vision. I could see the vision. I'm not mad at this. The thing about it is that Daniel's on like a special diet. It's like a 30 day detox with like mostly smoothies and like fruit bowls and stuff. So I would be the only person eating this because I don't really see the kids eating it. I don't really see them eating this. I'm like, I don't know. How could I trick them into eating this? I don't know. I want to think about it though because I might be able to get them to eat it if I make, if I get a little creative, you know? Some of the screws fell out of our chair, so I'm gonna put these back. If you guys don't have one of these like scrapers, I've had this one literally since I got married. I had three. Now I only have one. I don't know how to the other ones because I had a gray one that looks a little more aesthetic. But this scraper is, I'll link one from Amazon down below. They're so cheap, like a few bucks. I could not clean my house without this. I scrub dishes, I scrub the floor, I scrub the tables. If you have kids, you need one of these.
So now I am going to attempt to fix my hair and make it look a little bit better. The good thing about these curls is that I can just twist my hair into a bun and it'll look halfway decent when I wake up. This would be the halfway decent look. Like the side of my hair I'm putting oil on now and that's the Chi Silk Confusion by the way. I'll link it. Um, but that side like really looked fine and this side was the side that looked like it had been through some things. So. Um, I start off by just smoothing my edges and I always smooth my edges back because whenever I smooth them back, whenever I comb my hair down, it just lays flat down and it looks nice. So I always do all of my edges just going back um, like this. And then you gotta make sure you get them kitchens, get them, them that basement, that attic. So and now what I'm gonna do is just curl random pieces of my hair that just don't look curled. The thing about the extensions that I like is that, like you can see how ratchet this looks. I'm not doing anything professional looking. I'm not doing much here. I'm really curling the extensions mostly and that really just allows me to not have to put so much heat on my hair to like, you know, continue a style. Like I could put rods in my hair to keep the curls and all that but I don't have time to do that so I just the clip-ins really helped me this time along to just have a little bit more volume and to just not have to um, put as much heat on my hair like this piece is my hair and so I'll pick a couple of pieces that I may want to you know go ahead and curl but for the most part I just try to stick to to curling the extensions and it, and it makes my straight hair last longer I wore my hair straight for about two and a half, it was almost three weeks. So it was long, I'm back curly now. There was no heat damage, praise the Lord. Um, but yeah, you guys, I just kind of just do what I have to do. We get the face framing bits and like low key curtain bang vibes, but I'm just trying to make it look presentable to leave the house and to finish this vlog because I did start off looking a little crusty. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna spray it with some um, shine spray, also by Chi. And that's pretty much it. Right now, I'm putting mascara on my eyebrows and eyelashes. Um, sometimes I put mascara on my eyebrows, like as a brow brow gel, but it kind of just adds an extra like thickness to them as well. And since they've been microbladed, like they're much better. But they're all, they all. I mean, yeah, I, we'll talk about that later. Anyway, throw on some lip gloss, and then I'm like, hmm, maybe I should just put some glow oil on because I'm looking a little dull. So I added some of that and I felt like a new woman. And that was by e.l.f. I will link everything in the description so, box. So I was able to show you guys really quick just how I touch up my hair when I'm wearing it like this. It feels good, it feels, feels cute, feels very Barbie, you know. So this is the moment where I realized that this entire clip that I recorded on my iPhone was recorded in slow motion. Yes, people, it's in slow motion. And I was like, you know what? I got a fix for this. I'm just gonna fast forward it and it'll be regular. Here's what that sounded like. So since I sounded like an absolute extraterrestrial animal, literally like a dinosaur, I don't know, it was just wild. So. Let me tell you, I was just basically talking about how tired I was, like I was talking about earlier, and how I just have had these bags under my eyes for like two weeks, and I was telling you guys about the bags under my eyes. That's really all I was saying, and yeah. And then it, it, and then it goes out of slow motion, so here's that clip. But I'm still cute, so what are you gonna do? Anyways, guys, um, we're getting ready to head to the church. I'm gonna grab the kids, get ready to go. I think the sliding looks a little better. The bags are a little less apparent. Anyways, so George has terrorized my plant that I'm trying to keep alive and broken. This was a succulent holder. Glass everywhere. Zara cut her hand. They're not allowed in this room, so he broke the rules by coming in here in the first place. But this is real life, so now I'm cleaning it up. Ooh, it's so bright. Okay, so we are at the church. I just turned the alarm off, so I'm actually um, walking through alone and Daniel's pulling around to the other side near the youth wing. Ooh, lighting, horrible, okay. Where we are going to um, unload the kids, get them situated, and 
get this class ready for these kids. I'm not gonna show too, too much of this because, I mean, look, can we get the lighting straight? What is happening? Okay, that is a little bit better. Um, I'm not gonna show too, too much because I just, it's just not what this vlog is about, but I'm still trying to show you guys what I'm doing today. So, we're basically setting the class up in a way to where it'll be COVID safe and every child will be six feet apart and we can just keep it safe and just, yeah, just safe. So that's what we're gonna do. And then we're just gonna go back home. So, hmm, real exciting, but it'll be good. I don't like this way. It's really, really, really long. This way is really, really, really long. It's not that long. Yes, it's it is. It's the same. No, it's not. You wanna say hi to my vlog? Mmm, okay, well that's the energy that Zara is giving today, so there's that. We are getting ready to leave. Zara, did we do a good job setting up? Yeah. Did we do a good job setting up the class? Yeah. Come on, we can't hear you, come closer. Yes. Come closer. Yes, I guess. <laughs> what? Yes, I guess. Yes, you guess? already acting like a teenager at four. What? I keep thinking she's five, but she's not. How old are you? How old are you? Five. You ain't no, girl. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna do something with that head of hair. There's a lot of random cars driving through here for it to be closed, but I'm wondering if it's people um, practicing their driving. Because a lot of time people use like big open parking lots for stuff like that. All right, we're going back into the um, the uh, fluorescent lighting. So, anyways, guys, I just want to update y'all, tell y'all that we finished and we're headed. Home. Well, we got to stop by Kroger to get a couple of ingredients for tonight's sushi dinner. So let's go do that. So my kids are currently eating. It's past bedtime. It's 18 minutes past bedtime. It's 8.48. What you doing? Um, mm, no, you can't touch it. Yeah. What you doing? Yeah. Say hi. Hi. Zara, what are you doing? Why aren't you sitting up in your seat? Hi. Okay. Yeah, well, as you can see, as soon as I hi. clean, it's, it's undone. It's it's completely undone. This is the this is the yeah, real this is the real life. In a minute, give me a minute. Okay. This is the real life of a mom. This is what it's really like. You clean yeah. up, one step forward, three steps back. You know what I'm saying? But this is the sushi roll that I made for Daniel. He already ate one. Was that supposed to go in there? Hmm, interesting. Um, when I cut it, the end off, it always like falls apart. But the rest of them kind of stay together, but it's literally just quinoa and avocado with salt, Chinese five spice, and wasabi powder. They're both from this brand, Asian Gourmet. He said it was really good. He said it was the best meal of his diet. These are recipe, these recipes come from like this. He's doing this diet, let me show you. This is the diet he's doing. I printed it out on pink paper because Look how thick this is. This is literally a whole book of recipes. And I didn't want to like waste paper that, you know, we would use. So I put it on pink. But this is it. And every day it just has like a recipe of what you're supposed to eat and how you're supposed to make it. So look, I didn't even read the directions. It says place it in the freezer for 10 to 15 minutes to set. Didn't do that. Anyways. He said it was really, really good. I made mine with, I added cream cheese and cucumber to mine. My cucumbers are like on their last leg, so it wasn't as crunchy, and it overall just lacked the flavor of meat. So I was gonna make myself another one, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and make a turkey melt because I just don't really wanna eat this again. It was okay, it was good, it was fine. I'm really hungry, but I don't really wanna eat that again. So. Tomorrow is Resurrection Sunday, like I told you guys, and I do not know what I'm gonna do with her. This is how her hair looks. Can we see your hair? I never finished her bra these braids, like when I started them, they were all supposed to be in the braids. Never finished them. 
So the top has been, it's been in space months, it's been in two ponytails, it's been in one ponytail, it's been in one, it's been, the top has done all kinds of stuff. But the bottom is like these grown out braids. And I don't have time to take these out, so I'm just like, think Bethany, think. No, what, what are you gonna do? Put it on the table. Put it on the table. Hey. Are you gonna eat it? Stop stuffing your mouth. Okay, okay. Thank you. Anyways, you guys, it's safe to say that I am tired. I'm pooped. Like, I told Daniel, I feel like I have literally just been scraping the floor in our office at the church um, because we stripped the, the, we took the carpet up and then underneath was like glue and we had to strip all that glue off. And it took like a whole week. It took like two weeks basically to do that. I would say, okay, a week and a half, okay? And my whole body hurts still from doing that. My hands are sore every single, stop it. Every single muscle in my entire body is so, so sore. Can you, okay. I'll get y'all some milk. Every muscle of my whole body is sore and I just, I just want to relax. I want a massage. I just want to lay down. So when I get the kids in the bed, it's going to be clean up this kitchen and edit this video, relax. I've been watching the, I want to talk to y'all later because it's just too much. Time. So I'm going to wrap up this sushi roll. And I'm gonna put it in the, how did this happen? I'm gonna put it in the freezer, like it says, since he's not even home. And when he gets back, well, I'll try to take it out before he gets back, cause I don't wanna ruin it. I know this is crooked, I'm sorry. Um, I used to use like the Glad plastic wrap, or like Saran wrap, but like this, Stretch tight is like so much better. I never have issues with it not sticking. Like with the other ones, it's like it wouldn't stick, but this always sticks. So this is the brand that I like. It's called Stretch Tight, and I buy mine at Wegmans. I don't know if everyone has Wegmans. No, I know everyone doesn't have Wegmans. When I grew up, um, yeah, like I didn't. Where I grew up in Ohio. We didn't have Wegmans, so I'm sorry about the background noise. Alright, so this is the sushi roll. I'm just gonna wrap it up like a little candy. There. Little, this one's like a little nub. I'm gonna put this in the freezer so it can set properly. Actually, it says 10 to 15 minutes, so maybe I'll just put it in the fridge till he gets back. All right, so I'm about to put the kids to bed and then I guess edit this video. I don't know, is this the end of this video? Um, actually, I'm gonna show you. Okay, anyways, let's pick this up because I don't want to be trifling and leave it like that. <laughs> Hold on, Z. come up with for her hair I know the braids and the beads they're staying in there they're not coming out but we're gonna do something with the top at least um just quickly just quickly Jesus please and and then the hair for school for school you mean for class at church uh -huh. she's excited because like I said we're opening up the class and so she barely makes the cut she really doesn't but she's gonna be going so do you have to be so loud in the back Say night night. Night night. Say say see you next time. Night night. What? Say bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. All right, guys. Let me get them in the bed. <laughs> like, how does this happen? Like, not only has the table migrated all the way across the entire kitchen, but like, there's food. There's an entire plate. Like, what were you doing? <laughs> What, George, George, why did you make such a big mess? Mom. Yeah, you made a huge mess. Yeah, on the floor, a mess on the floor. I don't like that, Georgie. 
Like he doesn't care. He just wants to try to watch TV. <sighs> So I did end up doing Zara's hair and the same night and George went to bed and I tried to do her hair. Her hair's getting so long, you guys, but my camera literally ran out of memory card space in the middle of me filming this and I just needed to finish this and get her in the bed. Okay, you guys, so this is Zara's finished hair. I think I kind of finessed. These I might braid and put beads on in the morning if I have time, but I'm not doing it tonight. So for now, it's just curls this one's kind of extra large and in charge but i already know they're going to get kind of ruined at night so i'm going to fix that in the morning we just did a braided bun at the top but i put rubber bands at the top of these box braids to kind of make them look newer and i feel like i kind of finesse that whole situation turn around cc because back here you can see where they're, like, they're growing out. I didn't do all of them, just like the top layer. But I think at first glance, she'd be like, oh yeah, like she just got her hair down low key, you know? So that's what we did. Zizi, what do you think? Do you like it? Do you like it? Yeah. Okay, okay.